speaking of things that you can do on your Synology, Thad had a fantastic little tip for us. He says, um, I recently set up a Synology NAS and retired the 2010 Mac Pro that I'd previously been using as a file server. In the past, I'd been sharing my library of movies and TV shows that I had ripped or acquired through other means via iTunes. For the last 10 years or so, I've been converting uh, H.264 and H.265 MKV files to MP4 containers with Subler and adding all the iTunes metadata with MetaZ. It's a bit of an intensive process, but I like how much control it gives me. Uh, um, I'm going to skip to. So uh, he says, I it, to that end, I wanted to be able to access my library through iTunes home sharing on my Apple TV and other devices. Since Synology's iTunes server option uh, does not support iTunes home sharing, this didn't fit my needs. So I devised the ultimate clunky workaround. And, and I, I'll share this workaround, but I want all of us to kind of think about it, not to solve the iTunes problem, because that was Thad's specific problem, but to solve any problem that doesn't have a Synology app or a Docker container to solve it. And what Thad says he did is he says, I installed a Windows on a virtual machine on my NAS and set up iTunes inside that. This feels a bit like swatting a mosquito with a boulder, but it works. I now have access to all my videos from all my Apple devices via iTunes home sharing, meaning I can see all the metadata, the played versus unplayed status for each file inside the computer app uh, on the Apple TV, just like I could when I had it set up on my Mac Pro. It would, it would, he says it would not surprise me if nobody really wants to do this. And that's true. You might be the only one that wants to do this, Thad. But the idea of using, if you can't, if you have something that you want to run on your on your Synology and you can't find a Synology app or a Docker container to do it. If it can be done inside windows, you can run a VM and you know, it doesn't need to be fast. It doesn't need to run windows at light speed because you're not interacting with it as a windows GUI interface. It's just the windows container sits there to run the app that you can't run any other way. In his case, you know, Apple music or iTunes or whatever it is he's running. So I thought that was pretty good. I, I, I like the thinking here, and that—that's why I wanted to share it. So 